Hi Scorpios! This is your monthly reading for May 2019. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what energy we pick up for May. What is this? We have the Seven of Swords energy. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Ouch. First and foremost. Um, could be an Aquarius that is significant for you guys. But um, this is somebody that is looking out for themselves. Okay. I feel like there's somebody in the picture that is is maybe turning a blind eye to a situation where their significant other may be doing some things that like right under their nose here with the seven of swords energy let's see then we have the two of swords and somebody just choosing to remain in this situation refusing to see something here okay there's a struggle going on mentally like basically knowing something but refusing to see it and accept it refusing to see it and accept it with that moon energy there's there's something that's either you guys or somebody else is refusing to see in this situation but there's definitely something that um, is being missed that needs to be looked at I feel like there's some deep feelings that are not being shared there's some secrets here I feel between you and someone else Somebody is not feeling well, I don't, I mean mentally, mentally, emotionally, um, there's, there's something going on, there's definitely something going on here, and then we have a star energy, somebody's hurt, and I feel like, again, there's somebody that is refusing to see acknowledge something in this situation something needs to be brought to light needs to be talked about so it can be healed so you guys can move past it <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of um, manipulation going on here maybe mental manipulation okay um, somebody feels truly stabbed in the back and there is a betrayal here there is definitely a betrayal here I feel but I feel it being wrapped up because somebody again like I said knows exactly knows exactly what they're doing the other person knows it too but but it's like refusing to deal with it refusing to deal with it um, and, and just not saying anything about it just kind of observing observing um, trying to just refusing to make a decision about it refusing to leave refusing to speak on it um, address something here refusing to be open about something just kind of like brushing it under the rug okay and then we have that full energy there I feel like there's definitely somebody here that's playing around there's somebody here that's playing around and there's and the other person knows it the other person knows it they haven't said anything about it but they definitely know I feel about the indiscretion. They feel it. They haven't done anything about it. 
but they definitely see it as a betrayal. Um, I think the other person feels like they've gotten away with something, whatever they're hiding or whatever they um, feel like, you know, they're pulling over the other person's eyes, but cross watcher, if this is you, um, I feel like the Scorpios, they, they know, they have a sense of it. They see it. They just haven't said anything. They feel like you, you're being foolish in this situation because they know exactly what's going on. Okay. Even though you haven't said it. So, just know that. Okay. And then we have the Six of Swords energy there. I feel that there's somebody that is, in order to heal, um, somebody here is choosing to, somebody here is choosing to just walk away, cut their losses. Somebody's just cutting their losses. Um, moving on. Just moving on. Because um, I'm seeing that strong Aquarius energy. Aquarius, Pisces, um, Aries energy. Gemini is here as well, I feel. Maybe Libra. But... There's somebody that that feels foolish in this situation. Maybe that they stayed um, longer than they should have. But I definitely get the sense that somebody here like is, has healed. Um, they know the truth surrounding a situation without speaking on it. Okay. Whether it's you, my Scorpios, or whether it's the other person. What other energy is coming in for my Scorpios? What other energy is coming in for Scorpios? We have the High Priestess energy. A lot of secrecy. A lot of secrecy. A lot of, I feel like um, there's going to be a point where if you guys are not already like at a distance or separated um, not speaking to each other that's coming that's coming if this person walks away if you guys are together right now this person leaves or you guys leave um, it, it, it's going to be crickets it's going to be crickets because somebody feels like a fool in this situation okay like it's best for them just to part ways and just you know just let things be the way that they are will of fortune there that that's the best thing that's the best possible thing that could happen in this situation instead of being confrontational about something somebody's just like you know keeping their silence and just feeling like that's what's best in the situation. That's how they can move forward. That's what's going to change. It's the fact that this person's not being confrontational. Um, whoever this is, whether it's you or the other person, somebody's refusing to be confrontational, refusing to ask a lot of questions or dig deeper because they feel like, you know, they, they have all the knowledge that they need in order to move forward and be successful. Yes. Looking for stability. Looking for a stable home, a stable commitment, um, stable relationship even. They're looking for stability. Looking for calmness, happiness, healing. Their path. Where they're supposed to be. What they're supposed to be doing. Okay. And then we have the lover's energy. This is all about a choice. And I feel like this is a choice between remaining in the situation and being unhappy 
or getting out and finding what they really deserve, coming across what they really deserve, changing up karma here. This is this is what this is what's coming in. Stability. Stability in a relationship and a connection. This is what this person's looking for. Whether it's you or whether it's the person that you're thinking about. Making a choice to be happy. Making a choice to be stable. And kind of keeping that to themselves. Okay, keeping quiet about it. Just knowing what they have to do here with this Six of Swords energy in order to make this happen. Stepping out on faith. Okay, so we have Pisces, Aquarius, um, I feel Sagittarius is here, Gemini, Virgo. Cancer energy is here. Libra. Aries. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.